Okay, if we're considering a bucket, and indeed the water, um, it's going to be travelling in a circle, well then there must be a centripetal force being provided, which we know is mv squared on r. Now, the minimum um, velocity that would be required um, would be the one that provides an acceleration which is equivalent to v squared on r. If the weight of the water um, is equivalent to the necessary centripetal force, that's going to prov the, w the weight itself will be providing the centripetal force, and there'll be no additional tension required um, to provide the centripetal force. So in, in this particular case, um, if, if this is providing this, that means that G equals V squared on R. Uh, uh, the R is a constant value, so this V is some value which will get you um, a value of G. Anything less than that value, um, and you're not going to be providing enough um, force for it to, to go in the circle. Anything greater than that value is fine, but you have to have um, g equal to v squared on r.